Hey YouTube, what goes on? Welcome to This About Action Figures Hunt Video, episode number 59. Before we get to this week's rundown, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button here if you are new. It doesn't cost you a thing and it helps us grow our channel a lot. Uh, a lot of people watching these videos are not subscribed, a very small percentage actually, so please do me a favor, hit that sub button. On this week's hunt, we found G.I. Joe Cobra Infantry classified full cases on the peg. We found more G.I. Joe classified Flint and Lady J restocks at Walmart. We found Masters of the Universe Origins Target exclusive Keldor and Cronus 2-pack and they did not sit there very long. We found the Marvel Legends Shang-Chi Mr. High Build-A-Figure Wave stacked at Walmart and lots more. Please like and comment if you enjoy this video. Additionally, midway through the video, I'll give you an update for you Pennsylvania toy collectors about an upcoming toy show that's going to be in Palmer, Pennsylvania this upcoming weekend that you can attend and hunt in person at. So again, everybody, please hit that sub button if you are new. Like and comment on the video if you don't mind. And enjoy this week's hunt. All right, guys. So I'm at Cedar Crest Boulevard, and they have the Modocs out. So, oh, God, it's stuck on the bottom. That's disgusting. I don't know what went wrong there. Man, that's awful. I don't know why they did that. Let's put this one over here. It's nothing on it. Man, those other ones are gross. But yeah, here it is. I have mine already. But seeing them on the peg is always amazing. So uh, there is our set of three Modocs. Uh, and then we do still do have some Shang-Chi hanging out. There's our uh, Katie uh, exclusive. And it's just on down this way. There's our DC stuff. Oh, there's the Batman. Okay. That's awesome to see as well. Um, I'm thinking this is rare-ish. I don't really know, to be honest. I guess the color variant is different. So White Knight Red edition. So he is here. Uh, and we also have a couple other of the normal, I guess you can call them peg warming Batmans now. And there we go. Batman Earth 111. I'm sorry, negative 11. Oh, we also have another red one up there. And here we also have uh, this version of Batman. So lots of Batmans, as always, to be had here at Target. Uh, and the Marvel Legends Shang-Chi are actually really picked through. Wow, there are not many of those left that I see down there. Let's just pick through and see if we can find anything else. Nope, that looks to be about it. So you guys saw in my last video uh, how many there were. Uh, so now we're down to basically next to none. So, uh, and then if you're curious, back behind, there's some... Oh, oh, there's our new LeBron James hanging out on the peg from Space Jam. Then we have our Skeletors. Uh, and not much going on in three and three quarter. Wrestling, looks like we have the McIntyre and looks like a Kingston, nothing else really new sitting here. Um, so yeah, that's what we got going on the peg. Oh, and then we have that, that guy. I'm gonna back away really, really quickly from him. But let's go see what's going on uh, in NECA or the next location. And now I'm at Airport Road Target and same story, we have more Modocs out. So Modoc out on the shelf, two of them here. And we have two of the Katie's. Oh, what do we have here? We have three of the AI Iron Man left. We do have a Civil Warrior up top and three Wen Woos. So, and also all of the uh, kind of more basic uh, sort of uh, playing items. And there's that dragon that I know MCU collector uh, had recently reviewed. I haven't watched it yet, but it looks pretty cool. Oh, and here we actually have an idea of what the rings I guess are gonna do. I doubt they're gonna shoot rings in the movie, but that's uh, interesting at least. But yeah, you can see the Shang-Chi section really blown up here at all the targets. Um, so Wen Wu still in the house. And also I should, I probably should mention him. There is our Shang-Chi. So he's still here, three of him. So this store is still pretty relatively untouched. Probably just put these out today. So let's look around and see what's over in Star Wars and wrestling. So all of my Motu fans and collectors, check this out. They have freaking one, two, three, four. They have five of these. They have basically an entire case. Oh, I know I'm hooking up the sort of photo. I know he's hunting this hard right now, and I'm about to go meet up with him now for an exchange. So there that is. There's the exclusive two-pack, everybody. Um, $28.99? I, I believe that's the right tag for this. But this this looks great. Oh, the Skeletor head with it. This is this is awesome. I'm going to have to pick one of these up for myself as well. I was trying not to get too heavy into this line, but this is just too cool to leave behind on the peg. So, all right, I'm going to check out, see what's around, but I think... One of these is going with me for my buddy. All right, so I'm meeting up with Lacerda Photo here, my good fellow toy collector, local guy here in Pennsylvania, and his son. And we are hunting in the Linden Street Walmart, and they just uh, apparently put this out. So I saw this at Target the other day, 
and I thought it was a Target exclusive, but I don't really collect multiverse, but there's the uh, the maskless figure. You wanna know how I know it's an unmasked figure? Because it says it on the box, unmasked figure. So I'll leave that here for the next AI because that's not really my jam. But otherwise, we're just checking out to see what's here and uh, Lacerda and I are doing an exchange. So uh, we will see what else is in the store and maybe we'll show you something here or see you at the next location. So I'm at VR Hobbies in South Mall Mercantile here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. You know I've been to the store plenty of times in the past. Love this store. Owner's a great dude and he has some great stuff. And I just saw on his Instagram earlier for the store, look at this, this is ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six of the infantry troopers are here. And the best part is they are at retail price. So check out the website for VR Hobbies. I'll put the link down in the description below. This guy is just awesome. He has an amazing store. I've shown it in the past. I'll definitely be taking one of those home with me today. Um, he also has Zartan here, also for regular retail price. So if you're in the Lehigh Valley area, please come check out VR Hobbies because his store is just amazing. He's actually going to be holding a toy show on, I believe, May 9th, which don't mind me as I spin in circles here, but it should be a card for it here. Uh, first of all, here's a card for the actual store itself. So... There's the address. Also, check out the website. He also does have an Instagram as well, as you can see right there. I will get some information down below for that toy show that I'm really looking forward to going to. As you can see up top, we've had more Zartans available for purchase here at VR Hobby. So check this store out if you are in the area. I'm going to look around a little bit more, probably film a little bit more, and then I'll be checking out. But let's see what else we can find. As I've said in the past, this store is literally just stacked with figures. So I'm just going to give you a quick overlook here. It's been a while since I've done this. Of all the Marvel Legends, new Marvel Legends, older Marvel Legends, all the build the figures from the last few years are here. Great prices. Most of them are retail or slightly above. And by slightly, I mean maybe like 24 bucks for a more rare figure. You're going to pay a lot more on eBay for. Uh, but here's a great look here at the Marvel Legends, and whenever I'm here, it just makes me want to start stacking up on older Legends waves that I passed on or filling some holes that I, I may need to. But again, go to the website for VR Hobbies. I will put it down in the description below if I didn't see it, show it on the card earlier. Um, still have that uh, Black Widow wave strong. These just came in, these are all new. They're not easy to find, guys. Maybe you get lucky and see them at Target or Walmart, but they are here for a really good price. Uh, some deluxe figures down below. There's that Xavier 2-pack, only 50 on him. That is an amazing price, as you are aware. Uh, up top, we do have uh, our Spider Wave, S-P-Y-D-E-R, however you spell it, uh, in that weird tech way. Up top, kind of hard to see on this angle, a bunch of 2-packs are above me. I've got a cloak. I won't even see a cloak anymore, guys. Oh, let's see here. Lots, tons of more legends here. Arnim Zola 2-pack, Captain America bike more gamer wave over here as you work our way down spider-man wave you just don't see these in stores very often anymore everybody more legends down below don't even get me going on the awesome vintage wall that he has here tons of vintage cards from the original figures back in the 90s check it out spider wars maverick i love that figure i still have them cannibal with legs guys with legs classic storm we have our nick fear you know i love that figure it's on my wall at home Oh, we have the six-armed Spider-Man Generation X. That is just great to see. But again, tons of stuff here at VR Hobbies. If you're a Star Wars person, tons of Star Wars as well. So there we have some three through quarter inch. We have lots of loose stuff going on here. I'm just going to walk around the corner. Sorry if I move a little too quick. But over here, we have tons of Black Series. Lots of carded stuff, as you can see. Again, all the prices are right around retail. We have the new Tuscan Raider. He's hanging out here. More Power of the Four stuff up here above for three and three quarter inch. It's just an amazing store. I didn't expect to get here tonight. I had a lot of running around errands to do. And I said, you know what? I am making time to get there. So I took the extra drive and got down here. Uh, it's such a great store. So guys, check it out. Again, I can't even go through all this. Uh, eventually, I'll do an entire walkthrough video when I'm here. But again, check out... Uh, his website. Check out his toy show coming up on May 9th. I am looking forward to being there and doing some toy hunting at a toy show. But 
great story of new Mortal Kombat's here as well, guys. So check him out on his website. You could also go over there to make some purchases if you don't want to come out in person quite yet. But all right, let's get ready to check out. And I got to move along and get home. But this is VR Hobbies. Check it out. Description. Uh, website down in the description below. And you know what? I was going to stop filming. However, I found a card for the toy show. So there it is, May 8th. There's the information right there on the card. Great toy show coming up. There's the back of the card as well. If you're looking to buy tickets early, and there's the hours and the date. Here is the Star Wars Black Series wall. You can see it's just a literal wall of Black Series figures. Very, very, very well priced. We even have our Mandalorian way of hanging out here. But, hey, that's it for me. I'm going to get out of here, guys. But, boom, there it is. I'll be talking more about this in the future weeks as we get closer to May 9th. Hey, everybody. A lot of people recently have been asking me about where I'm finding these G.I. Joes uh, in person. VR Hobby is a great store here in the Lehigh Valley area. You can see the address right here. Obviously, I showed you the card in the video. Tremendous stock in Marvel Legends, wrestling figures, vintage figures of all sorts and kinds, G.I. Joe included. Check out their store. They have a great online website available for purchases. Also, they are running a toy show this upcoming weekend uh, in the Lehigh Valley area. Uh, here is the information on that toy show, May 8th, 2021. They'll also be having one on September 11th, 2021 as well, as you can see. Um, you can go on their website for more information about buying uh, some tickets for this event. It'll be at the uh, Charles Crin Community Center, 4100 Green Pond Road, Palmer, Pennsylvania. It's not far from Easton, PA, if you know the area. The show hours are 10 until 2. There's some information on the tickets. Hop over to his website. Give it a look. And if you're interested, come out and check out the toy show. It's my first time going to it. I'm very excited. If it's any indication of what it's like being in his toy store, it's going to be awesome. So there's the information. Check it out. Now back to the hunt. So another toy hunt, another Saturday morning uh, here at the Cedar Crest Boulevard store. And there's the John Cena. A lot of people have been going crazy trying to find. So there, there that is on the peg. The rest of the wrestling is pretty typical stuff. Nothing really here that's out of your mind crazy. Uh, Legends, we still have a Shang-Chi sitting here. Oh, there's a G.I. Joe. It's, oh, it's, the old, it's the old roadblock. That's odd to see that here. So looks like Joe did get restocked. This is the old one. I'll put that back. I don't know why it was sitting here. Uh, and then here we do have another Shang-Chi hanging out. So we have uh, Mandarin, we have Shang-Chi. And it looks to be about it. Everything else is uh, older um, Tri-Sentinel wave. So let's mosey on down this way, see what's going on. Transformer stuff, if you know what it is, there it is for you to see. And we'll put the Joe back. So that's what's going on in this store. Let's uh, head out and see what else we can find in some other locations. Um, yeah, I don't know, let's see what we find today. Let's get going. So, Airport Road, and I'm sensing a pattern of what will be sitting on the pegs here as they restock G.I. Joes. So I had a lot of friends this morning get out and find uh, a lot of the new Joes, the new waves, out on the pegs. Uh, but this is what's left, apparently. All right. So, home base Walmart has restocked, once again, on G.I. Joe. So we do have two Cobra Commanders, two Lady J's, and two Flints are out. So, still don't have the new wave here. Uh, by new wave, I mean the Infantry Trooper and the Zartan. Those are out. And then finally, they put out the new Marvel Legends as well. So we finally have Shang-Chi. So there we have Wen Wu. We have our Zay Ling, which has been the hard one to find. We have AI Tony Stark. We have Shang-Chi in the back. We have our Civil Warrior. And we have our Death Dealer, which has been the hard one to find for people. So they are loaded and locked finally with some new product here. Uh, wrestling looks to be the same as they've had out recently. And Star Wars is also the same. So watch out for that guy. Uh, Motu, also the same. So it's cool to finally see that they got out these uh, Marvel Legends. I've been kind of stocking the local Walmart here until they finally stocked it, pun intended. Uh, so I'm going to look around and see what else I can find. But good to see that the uh, harder to find figures are uh, finally out here for people to get who don't have in their collections. So let's go poke around and see what we can find. So I just rolled into the Tamakwa Walmart. And as you can see, Shang-Chi, there it is. So we have... Uh, Shang-Chi, sorry. Two Shang-Chi's, a Zay Ling, uh, look at the Wen Wu, we have another Civil Warrior, uh, down here on the pegs. Wow, even tons more. I gotta check in and see if he's on clearance. He wasn't last time. Uh, another Death Dealer's here. Looks like we have a Civil Warrior in the back. Another Tony Stark Iron Man, another Death Dealer. So two cases were put out, uh, of this wave here. So my earlier Walmart on home base 
they just had one case out. So here we have two cases. I actually might try to take this box. I just might put these back on the peg and take that box home because, well, I like the legend boxes to put legends in. So I might grab that. But again, there it is on the side. You can see you don't put it out until April 25th. Um, other than that, let's take a walk down this direction because I saw over here that he still have the flock penthar. So uh, this flew off the shelves at the uh, local Walmart at home base. Um, but uh, it's like 40 bucks. It's a little steep. I'm not really in on this line. I think I only have maybe like three or four of them. So I'm going to pass even though it's here. So cool to see that on the shelf. Wrestling wise, not a lot going on. Tons of basics. They have all those Undertaker bikes and then Transformers people. Here are your Transformers. What's going on on the wall with the Transformers on the wall? Again, guys, not a Transformer collector, but if you're curious what they have, that's what they have. And then down below, we have a whole army of the slushy soldier for Fortnite. Uh, Power Rangers, pretty picked through already, but I think I might uh, think I might grab the case, the box to go with me for the Legends because I just like storing boxes and boxes, I suppose. Uh, but again, two Death Dealers, uh, pretty cool to see because from what I've been told, that's the harder figure to find in the wave. I got mine on Amazon so I could build that Mr. Hyde. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely stacked up here with the Legends for sure. So. Let's get out of here and go hit some other locations. So long game finally paid off, $14.90 for this guy. Uh, I would like to have gotten it for about $10 or $11, but I'm not gonna wait any longer because I haven't seen him really anywhere else anymore at Walmarts. And I want him to go with my Modoc so I can really uh, kind of show that uh, Fox uh, 90s cartoon UPN uh, animated Marvel universe that they had made uh, from when he was on the Hulk. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna grab him to go on the same shelf as Modoc, but 1490, I'll take it. That's a win. I'll show you at the register that it scans, um, what it scans up for. All right, let's go. All right, let's make sure this thing comes up clearance. Let's see what it does. And we are 1490. Not bad. We'll take it. <laughs> 